We've been talking about meter selection and things to consider when making that purchase and mistakes you can make by not knowing how to properly do a measurement. And we've used Fluke in all these videos with the exception of comparing brand X occasionally. I feel at this point, I need to remind you that Fluke did not sponsor this video, though I do need to thank them for loaning me these meters and I need to thank Electrical Equipment Company for putting me in contact with the right person at Fluke. But it's time to answer the question of why are all these meters fluke? Because my initial intention of this meter selection series was to have several different brands of meters. Don Miller says anything fluke is likely the answer with few alternatives. Diego says for me fluke is the best. Most of the companies here where I work in Brazil use fluke. Danny Murphy says fluke is the first thing that comes to mind. Nick Yeager says if it's a fluke, it's accurate. Herbert says I would bet Fluke would win this poll by a wide margin, and my goodness, it did. And finally, Robert Reed says, I'm no electrician, but coming from a tech point of view, Fluke hands down, accurate, fast, and easy to understand in your learning stages of multimeters. And I do believe that those last few nail down why people choose Fluke and why I ended up choosing Fluke for this video series. First thing is Fluke makes readers for the professional market. They don't really make a homeowner meter. Also, these meters are made in the USA. And by them going for just the professional market, it does allow them not to worry as much about cost. And that's why you're gonna pay a lot more for a fluke meter. And they are built well. Here is an 87B, and it comes in right at one pound, five ounces. Whereas the brand X meter that we've used throughout this video comes in at five ounces. That means there's nearly an extra pound or three times as much weight in this 87B compared to the brand X meter. Now Fluke has not gone and put a one pound weight inside of this 87B. If you actually look inside of it, the circuit boards are much thicker. The components are much thicker. The display is much thicker. The outer case is much thicker. They have made this so that you can carry it every day out in the field and not have to worry about it failing. Which brings up the next thing that I think makes Fluke unique is they have a lifetime warranty. Now, there are probably other meter companies that also have lifetime warranties. And I know there are probably a lot of notes in that lifetime warranty that Fluke offers. But I think that speaks to the longevity of the meter that they can make that promise. That quality plus the accuracy that we've come to trust Fluke for leads me to the real reason that I believe that Fluke is the number one meter in the market. And it's not grand marketing despite what everybody says. Now I will admit that um, a lot of you even said, if it's yellow, it's probably good. And Fluke has done a great job at branding yellow as their meter. The real reason is their quality and their accuracy has led them to be written into procedures of testing equipment. So I read procedures and it really used to surprise me. They wouldn't say get a meter with a certain percent accuracy on the milliamp scale and measure between these two points. They would specifically say in SOPs, get a Fluke 87B. Put your post here and measure these points and see what you have. And that is not because Fluke did a lot of fancy marketing. That's because on these critical measurements, Fluke has become trusted to be accurate when it's new and to still be accurate probably a decade afterwards. When speaking of accuracy over time, Fluke also makes the calibration equipment that a lot of us use to test our meters. So they have built out a really good quality product that you can purchase today and you probably will be able to use throughout most of your career. Now, I still don't want you breaking the bank purchasing your Fluke meter when you're getting started. And I've created this playlist right here with some great selection tips and some sample meters that you may like.